Let's get to our first guest. Joining me now to weigh in on, on this and so much more, chairman of the Conservative Political Action Conference and the author of The Desecrators Defeating the Cancel Culture Mob and Reclaiming One Nation Under God. Matt Schlapp, uh, great to see you, my friend. You heard the setup. You've researched yeah. and written about this stuff. It's real, the real threats. Unlike CBS News, they don't do any research. What say you? Yeah, you know, I, I've thought so much about this. Obviously, I wrote a book about uh, the experience my wife and I had with cancel culture. We think it's much worse than just cancel culture. We think there's a great desecration. There's a real evil that's afoot in the country. And so, you know, in the end of the day, am I li a, a liberty lover, Chris? Am I a conservative? What am I? And I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm an American who loves our founding, loves our history, even though it's imperfect. And by the way, as an American, I'm also a Republican. And the Republican Party was established to stop slavery, to end slavery. We actually went to war uh, to, to end slavery. So I wonder if they're going to do all these reparations. Maybe these Democrats need to pay a lot of reparations to Republicans who, in their history, lost their lives trying to free slaves. There's an insanity going on about what who we are as a people. Yeah. And isn't it funny that, we, that guys like you and me, conservatives like you and me, could actually find more common ground with Bill Maher than we can right. with Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy? I think, that, I think that says something. Speaking of being a divorce from reality, here's Joe Biden finding another scapegoat for his open Democrat borders. Watch. Why is the border more overwhelmed under your watch, Mr. President? Because there are three countries that are never happened. There are fewer... There are fewer immigrants coming from Central America and from Mexico. This is a totally different circumstance. What's on my watch now is Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua. And the ability to send them back to those states is not rational. Okay, Matt, there are all kinds of ways to pick this apart, destroy this latest excuse. What do you think? Yeah, so you don't have to cross illegally if you're fleeing political persecution. So there's a legal process where you can potentially come to this country legally. You gotta go through a port of entry. These people are subverting the legal process and coming in illegally, which really makes their claims that, there's, that they're fleeing political persecution very dubious. You, you're not allowed to cross this border into our country illegally. And Joe Biden, lies constantly. This idea that he's a sweet old man, Uncle Joe, is just not true. He lies constantly, and he's lying about the border, which, by the way, they say on a regular basis is secure and closed. And we can see by the videos that yep. are on Newsmax, it's a lie. It, it is a lie. And, you know, Joe Biden, we wouldn't have to send them anywhere if you didn't allow them to come into this country illegally to begin with. And that's the little part that he skips. And we had this licked. Uh, I'm sorry, President Trump is a superior president to Joe Biden because President Trump For had sure. that border under control and Mr. Biden doesn't. Hey, Chris, can uh, I say Matt, one other quick thing? Outrage. Can I say one other quick sure, thing on the border? The other thing that isn't very well reported by people away from Newsmax is that we have people coming to this country from nearly every country in the globe. The idea that Joe Biden is saying that th these are only people fleeing communist regimes is a yet another lie. We have people coming in from all over the world. Matter of fact, the Biden administration has no clue who's coming across that border. They don't even catch all the people who come in illegally. They have no idea of the chaos they're creating. And it's why everywhere right. along the border and in these communities, they are switching from D to R. It's true. Uh, in Texas, the Latino communities are being destroyed by the Democrats' right. open borders. And you're absolutely right. There are, what, 160 nations coming across that border That's illegally, right. representatives of 160 nations all over this planet. And the idea that all of a sudden it's only in Joe Biden's administration that people want to come to America. This is a, this is a near century-old problem because communist regimes have been falling throughout history because that's what communist regimes do. They always suck. They always fall. Uh, yes, meantime, you. Matt, uh, there's growing outrage over newly resurfaced policies made by then mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom. Turns out that Mr. Newsom here uh, bought one way tickets out of town for homeless people in his city, making them promise never to return. And that's an action now that he's calling kidnapping when GOP governors do it. The same thing to illegal aliens. What are your thoughts on this? 
Well, look, woke has taken over, and it's a real sickness. And uh, there were Democrats who tried. Uh, there were Democrats like Bill Clinton who, and Barack Obama who talked about stopping illegal immigration. Today, Democrats don't believe there is any such thing as illegal immigration. You have uh, people basically using uh, streets and sidewalks as private toilets uh, and camping out and making life very unsafe in all of these cities in California. There was a time when even Democrats in California believed that that was over the line. Now they have to embrace it. The fact that Gavin Newsom is going back and embracing all of these dysfunctional policies and these disgusting uh, habits from these uh, homeless uh, derelicts is uh, is proof of the fact that it's the Democratic Party that has embraced a very radical ideology that is really destroying blue America. Every part of blue America, Chris, think about it. It is bankrupt, right? It is uh, falling apart. It is depressed. The people are leaving blue states for red states. They're leaving these big, broken, bankrupt blue cities. Part of the reason is the crime that's yep. ensued from the Black Lives Matter protests and that movement. So, you know, we have a stark contrast coming up in November. And I tell you what, I know where the American right. people are going to go. Yeah, they're, they're going to leave. They're going to find America. You got to find America in red states. You can't find them in blue states anymore. Thank you very much, Matt Schlapp. Appreciate the time.